camera pans to that all critical aim. There it is. Bishop C1 to D2, by the way. Perhaps it's theoretical, but I would have thought that the uh, move G2, G3 was a bit more challenging. The reason that Gary probably didn't play G3 is it does allow black to once again harass white's queen with the move queen D5. So the move bishop D2 aims to prevent that, uh, but black... But we've got some moves. we got the move A5 um, from Sergei, followed by E4, the very, very... Uh, after there's h3 and um, oh, castles right. inserted in it as well. So okay, just back so knight c6, bishop d2, castles. Castles, king's eye, and okay. then we see um, h3. 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 This is a page from the World Championship match at Bonn between Vichy and Vladimir Kramnik. And after h3, what was played? We have a5 and g4. a5, g4 on the board. Oh my. Well, we're seeing a real uh, theoretical battle going on here with Queen this. G6. Queen G6. The queen, actually, you can see, has benefit of squares all across the fifth rank. Uh, so it, the queen had to drop back to G6. And now we see A3 from Gary. Okay, putting the question to the bishop. What the, are you going to do about the dark square bishop? The first real think of the game now by, by Sergei as he uh, decides whether or not to um, slide his bishop back or make the trade. What do you think? Well, if he slides his bishop back, bishop d6, well, then we have simply bishop g2. And while it's not an immediate threat, this idea of knight h5 trapping... Yes, there's this move, a4, a4, because knight takes on a4 was not possible. Well, it was possible during an exposure. It would have been a real mistake because bishop takes on d2. And if you play knight takes on d2, which would be the move that preserves your ability to, ca to castle, you'd be hit by knight takes on d4, hitting c2 and b3. So he couldn't take with the knight, he would have to take with the king, which would be just simply unpalatable as a choice here, as simple, you don't have to worry about compensation, but just to start, there'd be moves like knight e4 to think about, rook d8, simple attacking lines that's gonna expose the fact that you cannot castle. So Gary had to move very, very quickly, move the queen out, so this move a4 is a benefit to black. Right, and now we see the move queen c4, and only then bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3 on the board. Bishop c3, bishop c3 has been played. And now, um, Sergey, how do we complete his development, Yasser? Yeah, we just want to finish it, finish and get that bishop out. I would love to be able to, to stick it on b7 or a6. Precisely, actually, it's a bit awkward because this bishop on c3 x rays the e5 square. Black would love to play e5 to liberate his light square bishop. That's not going to happen anytime soon. So um, knight d5 was played. Right, knight d5. And I'm thinking that that move actually was necessary, probably as a precursor to knight a5, or simply to take. And again, uh, to give the queen, the black queen needs a little bit more room, so to speak. It could have easily get himself get trapped on the g6 square. Now you see a precursor to knight a5 because it holds down the pawn on c7. 
Right. Despite the fact that the pawn on a4, it's still it uh, takes. Tender. So yeah, I have yeah. to be careful about uh, doing knight a5. There's no b7, b6 in the position either to liberate the bishop. So maybe the bishop is just going to have to play bishop to d7, knight to a5, knight to b3. And we have bishop d2 from Sergei preserving the two bishops. From you got to like that, yes. Gary. From Gary, yes. Gary, Gary, I please. like that a lot because actually you, the highly desirable move is simply bishop g2 and get on, along with your development. The problem is it's not the force that moves. Back to F1. Yeah, back to F1.